all right folks today's video will be a tutorial on how to unlock the developer console for american truck simulator as well as euro truck simulator 2 uh, i have had a lot of people request this video um because they've seen the different camera views that i do and um this video will show you exactly how to do that now one of the programs that you will need is a program called notepad uh I'm not sure if you could use programs like Microsoft Word or anything like that, but Notepad is pretty uh, simple, straightforward here. You will need this program. Pretty much most computers do have it, uh, but definitely have this program handy um, on deck because you will need it. Uh, but first, what you will do is go to your documents folder. Uh, again, this will apply for American Truck Simulator as well as, well as Euro Truck. Uh, so just go ahead click on documents uh, click on American truck simulator or euro truck and you're gonna go down to this file right here this config file and if this is your first time doing so a box will pop up prompting you uh, to select which program again choose notepad it's easier um, and it's just straightforward and you really just need something basic uh, so this is what you will see here um, and these are just a whole bunch of different commands uh, that the game recognizes um, everything from graphic mods um, up to things having to, to deal with the map um, to different weather um, configs it's just a whole bunch of different stuff you see sun shadows here fake shadows uh, like this option the fake shadows would be like there's some mods sometimes that uh, especially with trailer mods uh, that the shadows um, is always uh, uh, like a black box. Um, no matter where you pass in the game, there's always a black box. Uh, and this option pretty much helps eliminate that. And um, there's just a bunch of different other stuff, but uh, the two that we will worry about today is the G underscore developer and G underscore console. Um, and the easier way to find that because it's a whole bunch of options here the easiest way to do it is if you go up to edit and go to find or press Control f um this will come up and so pretty much you type in the first few words or letters like g underscore dev press enter and it'll take you right to that option right there uh when you see this it'll have a zero there need to take that out change it to a one uh, you do that you can exit back out of this box or keep it up and then the next one you want to type in is g underscore c o n press enter and it'll take you right to console this also needs to be changed from a zero to a one and then uh once you do that uh, you pretty much can exit back out of here you can go to file make sure you save it uh, I usually do it twice just to make sure it's saved and with anything that involves changing config files and stuff you want to make sure you save the original as a backup whether if you save it to your desktop you write it down whatever you do make sure you save it because if you change something that you do not like you can always go back and you can always uh, put the original one back in uh, so pretty much do that you can do the same for Euro Truck Simulator 2 as well. And then now we're about to go into the game and then show you the different uh, commands and stuff that uh, that these changes have. All right, so we are in game here. And if you want to open up uh, the dev console, uh, there's a key that's right up under your escape button. And if you click on that, I don't remember exactly what they call that key, but it brings up this little box right here. And this is your 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 command box where you can type in whatever command you want. Uh, the ones that I usually use is if you use G underscore set underscore time, it allows you to change the time to whatever it is you want. So, for example, uh, since American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck uses a 24-hour time format. If I wanted to, let's say, set the time for 10 p.m., I just type in G underscore set underscore time, 
and then I put in 23, press enter, and then it's automatically nighttime. If I want to go back to let's say 11 a.m., G underscore set underscore time space 11, and then there I am. I am back in the daytime. Uh, also, if you want to go into free camera mode, because uh, I had somebody ask me about that too, if you press the number zero on your keypad, it allows you to, you know, fly around, the, you know, the board and allows you to, uh, to like do different things as well. Uh, you will have to use your, your number keypad, you know, if you want to go forward, uh, which is the number eight button, you press the five if you want to go back. And then you press four if you want to go left, and then six if you want to go right. Uh, if you want to change things like your traffic, the amount of traffic that you have, because uh, I think for me currently it is set to one, which is default. Uh, it's pretty much stock traffic flow, uh, which is 1.0. If you want to change it, you do have to press uh, G underscore traffic now let's say if I wanted to change it to three you know I just press you know or type G underscore traffic space three and now traffic should be changed over to three now three is gonna add a lot of traffic and there are gonna be times where you might see a pile up somewhere which nothing is really forming yet um and actually i believe you're supposed to do g underscore traffic space 3.0 and then when you do that as you see now traffic is set to three default is one so what this is going to do is, is you're going to see a lot more traffic pop up in certain areas here is not so bad but when you get in these major cities you will see sometimes traffic just piled up in one place. Uh, you might see a lot more accidents because again, it is not default. Um, if you go back, type in G underscore traffic 1.0 and take you back to the default version of it. And uh, there's that also. Um, there's so many different things that you can change in here. Now, if you wanna get back to the ground inside your truck, do not press F9 because if you do very bad things will happen to your truck and your truck is just going to free fall from here I'm not going to do it but the way to get back into your truck is whatever you have set for your interior camera for me it's the up button um, you just press it and you're back in your truck again do not press F9 because if you do the truck is just going to free fall and then you will have very a very bad time so um you can play around with the dev console uh, like i said there's a lot of different things that you can do here um in, inside of this menu uh, there is a web page if i can find it i will provide the link to it which it gives you all the console codes and what they do some of them really don't affect the game too, too much some of them affects the game a lot and if you change it and you don't know what you're doing it could greatly greatly affect it uh, but yeah that's pretty much it like I said this allows you to like I said free roam you know you could do whatever you want here you know fly around see what's ahead of you whatever but uh, that's how you unlock it uh, like I said it's pretty simple but just make sure that when you do so you save the original if you are not familiar with what different codes do just save a backup put the original on your desktop and then make your changes because if you don't like the change you made or even if you forgot what you changed you can always just go back and plug in the original one uh, but if you have any questions just uh, shoot me a comment and again uh, this is how you unlock the dev console for American Truck Simulator as well as Euro Truck Simulator 2.